What's up, y'all? Out here at the range on a cold, windy day. The wind's been kicking out here, blowing my tripods and all kind of stuff over, but we ain't gonna let that stop us from having some fun. As you can see by the title on this one, we're doing another 380 test, and this one is one that's been very requested by a lot of people, are these Hydroshock Deep. So let me show you what we're working with. As always, we got our contraption set up with the Chrono and two blocks of gel out here. Now, I've only done one test in one of these blocks out here, so and it was a nine millimeter test. If y'all hadn't seen that, I'll leave a link up above so you can check that out but nice bunch of clear area so we shouldn't have any problem seeing what's going on with these rounds but like i said this is one of the most requested 380 rounds that i get down in the comments besides the underwood defenders and penetrators and that's the federal hydroshock deep and then what we're putting up against it at the same time is the federal regular hydroshock now they've got them labeled low recoil but there is no there is no version of 380 hydroshocks that aren't labeled as low recoil so for all intents and purposes these are the standard hydroshocks in 380 so so we've got the Hydroshock Deep 99 grain and the Hydroshock Low Recoil Standard stuff in 90 grain. And now if y'all can see, I don't know how well this will come through in the camera, but these rounds look vastly different. The Hydroshock, both of them have the little post in the middle, but as you can see, this jacket is pretty tight up against the lead, very tight. It's got some cuts in it, but nothing real crazy. The Hydroshock Deep, on the other hand, has the post in the middle but it looks like it's a much larger jacket that's kind of loosely crimped and folded up towards the point so very interesting differences in the projectiles there now the tool we're using of course is my m p performance center shield ez chambered in 380 it's got the three and a half inch barrel technically a little bit over three and a half if you count the little ported nub sticking out the end but basically a three and a half inch barrel on this thing this is the only 380 i own so i know a lot of people would like to see them out of a shorter one but i just don't have a shorter 380 and to be honest with you I, I probably ain't ever gonna buy another 380 so this is what my tests are gonna be doing out of for the 380 hopefully we get some good performance out of these hydroshock deeps because like i say a lot of people have requested that i test these so we're getting it done today so let me get us all set up and let's get at it all right y'all let's get us some speeds on these things as usual and see what we're working with here i'm gonna start out with the regular the 90 grain regular low recoil hydroshocks here i'm um, gonna we'll do a three round average on both of these so let's see what we get out of the standard low recoil hydroshocks. Nine eighty one. Nine eighty six. And 997, so decent speeds on those. Let's go check it out and see what we got. All right, so the three round average on our 90 grain low recoil Hydroshock is 988 feet per second. So not moving real fast, but I guess it is what it is. So let me reset this and let's try out the Hydroshock Deeps. All right, I got us three rounds of the Hydroshock Deep loaded up. Um, I know somebody's probably gonna ask me in the comments about the recoil that I feel between these two since those were low, uh, labeled as low recoil. There's virtually no recoil on those, but I'm going to be honest with you. There's going to be none on these either. Uh, this gun honestly just has no recoil. So <laughs> it's going to be virtually impossible for me to tell the difference on the recoil on these. But let's see what kind of speeds we get out of the deep, y'all. Three round average. 943. 957. And 972, so definitely a little bit slower than those 90 grains, but these were 99, so let's go check out the average on that. All right, so the three-round average on the Hydroshock Deep was 957 feet per second, and if y'all remember on the standard low-recoil Hydroshock, it was 988, so you're talking about a 31 feet per second difference. The, the uh, standard low-recoil are 31 feet per second faster than the Hydroshock Deep, so this should be really interesting to see what these do in the gel. Let me get this all reset, and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's going deep jelly time i'm gonna start out with the standard 90 grain low recoil hydroshock see what we get out of these i'm gonna try to put these towards the top without going out the top of the thing let's see all right not too bad let me go down there and check it out and make sure where i'm at All right, y'all, that was great placement in the jelly down there where y'all can see it real good. And I'm gonna be honest with you, so far from what I'm seeing from that just regular Hydroshock, that's one of the better performing 380 rounds that I've tested personally. Um, if these Hydroshock deeps actually do go deeper than that and expand like that, we got a winner on our hands for 380 right here, y'all. But let's see what we got. 
Uh, this one's going to be a little tricky. I'm just going to put it where it goes. Alright, I think we went right up above another one, but I think we're clear where y'all can see. Let's go down there and check it out and see what we got. All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got down here. I'm just gonna tell you now, these are some very impressive 380 rounds. Uh, to be completely honest with you, this is the first time that I've tested 380 that I have genuinely been impressed with the performance of these rounds. Not saying that several of them wouldn't have done the job, but these are incredibly impressive from what I'm seeing so far. So as far as the wound channels, watch what's this very top one right here, that's the regular Hydroshock 90 grain low recoil. As you can see where it comes in, very, very, very nice wound channel coming in here it travels on out to here and the projectile stopped out here looks like it's uh, right about 15 inches i'll measure it here in a minute and tell you for sure uh looks like uh, good expansion on it i don't think these are meant to expand like some of the other ones so i think that that expansion is about what they're supposed to do uh but very impressive and that's just a regular one now the hydroshock deep the hydroshock deep did exactly what it said it went, was going to do it went deep buddy uh the third one down so this wound track right here that's the hydroshock deep again incredible wound channel on this thing nice spiraling wound channel carries way on out here with the wound channel action and then the round keeps on going passes into the second block and it looks like it's about two inches into this second block also opened up about like this one it looks like you can see the little point sticking out the front of it so i think this is about how they're supposed to open uh, it looks almost just like it does on the picture on the box so this is incredibly impressive, y'all, but let me get the penetration measurements on and tell y'all what we got. All right, so the standard Hydroshock is actually right at exactly 14 inches, so not quite as far as I thought it went, but 14 inches. That is very, very impressive just for the standard Hydroshock round. 90 grain Hydroshock, 14 inches of penetration. Now, as for the Hydroshock deep, it is an eighth away from 18 inches of penetration, and some of the little feathers coming out the point are touching 18. 18 inches of penetration out of this 380 round y'all that is very very impressive give y'all a couple little close-up views like i say that top one that's the standard hydroshock as you can see there's the round there then if you skip one that third one down that's the hydroshock deep i mean look how nice that wound channel is very nice spiraling wound channel carries way out here keeps on trucking and two inches into this second block of gel is where that projectile came to rest. All right, y'all, let's check out our projectiles. The standard Hydroshock low recoil is here. The Hydroshock deep is here. And I can just tell you, these look, this looks exactly like the picture on the box. This one don't have a picture, but I'm sure this is about how it's supposed to do. This looks exactly like the picture on the box of this round. So there they are from the side view. So nice expansion on them. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. You still got the little point there. You can see the little point down in this one kind of bent over to the side. So there's definitely a difference in the design of these projectiles. Now, this uh, the deep, the regular Hydroshock, I believe it's a bigger diameter. It's kind of a glare, so I can't see, but we'll get some measurements. But first, let's get the, uh, let's get the weight on them. I don't see any uh, fragments into the gel, but let's check and make sure. All right, let's start with the standard. This one started at 90 grains. So let's see what we got. 90.1 grain so no loss on the standard now the hydroshock deep started at 99 we're at 99.4 grains so neither one of these lost any of their material now as far as the sizes on them let's start out with the deep here the hydroshock deep 448 444 and 449 so nice expansion on that hydroshock deep as for the regular hydroshock low recoil you got 457 457 again and 456 so very nice expansion on the regular hydroshock also so there it is y'all like i say one of the most requested 380 rounds that i have in the comments of my videos is this federal hydroshock deep and let me tell you something it did not disappoint these are both of these to be honest with you these are the best performing 380 rounds in my opinion that i have tested to date uh, they got good expansion on them they got excellent wound channels and 
absolutely fantastic penetration from 380s. Y'all know out there, people who use 380s, who've watched my test, who've watched other tests, it's nearly impossible to get expansion and nice wound channel and the penetration that you want out of 380 rounds, expanding 380 rounds for sure. Uh, and these did it. These gave you everything you wanted to see out of a 380 defensive round. All right, y'all, another 380 jelly test in the book, the Federal Hydroshock Deep and Standard Hydroshock Low Recoil. These things expanded in the gel, gave us a very impressive wound channel and absolutely fantastic penetration for a 380 expanding defensive round. Now, I haven't tested with the Underwood Defenders or Penetrators yet. I do have those and those are coming up very soon, but I have tested similar things like the Honey Badgers and the ARX Inceptors uh, and they were not near as impressive as what I saw here. I'm just gonna be honest honest with you. These Hydroshocks are absolutely by far the most impressive rounds to me that I've tested in 380. Whatever kind of magic Federal worked on these rounds right here, they got it right. But y'all let me know what you think. Are you as impressed as I am with these rounds? Uh, do you use these? Have you used them before? Uh, after seeing this, are you going to start trying to use them or look for them? If you can get them at a decent price, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. If y'all enjoyed the video as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon especially if you're looking forward to some more 380 tests because i've got the extreme defenders and the extreme defend uh penetrators is coming up very soon on some testing check out all my affiliate links down in the video description y'all know the deal with the amazon one if you shop through there anyway hit that link up first and go straight through amazon like normal from there and anything you buy anywhere on amazon i get a kickback from them towards the channel check out those axle ear pro affiliate links for some huge savings versus going straight through their site on some really good ear pro i appreciate all my range gang members for reaching down and hitting that join button and every single one of y'all out there who supports the channel by watching the videos hitting that thumbs up hitting the subscribe button and leave me comments down below let me know what y'all think about these hydroshocks but i'm gonna get the contraption set up and keep on rolling out here so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for a whole lot more and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon